All right, hello guys, and welcome to our Learn.io course on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this course, we're just going to be covering some basic topics from getting started to transitions, animations, inserting different things into your PowerPoints, how to make them look a little cooler. Um, so if you don't have Microsoft PowerPoint, you can follow along pretty easily using Google Slides. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So uh, this is the screen you'll be on when you open Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, you have your three tabs, Home, New, Open, uh, although you can start new presentations from the Home tab. And you can open your pinned or recent or shared with me presentations down here um, when they show up. Uh, you'll also see some themes for you to open up when you start. But for now, we're going to work with blank presentation. So you just click on this to open a new one. For whatever reason, um, that likes to mess with my recording software. So I just opened it up in a separate tab. So this is what you'll what will show up when you open a blank presentation. Um, so let's just cover some basic terminology. So before we move on, this whole thing, this and all of the slides, uh, that whole thing is called the presentation, the presentation that I'm working on, right? Um, this right here on its own is a slide on the presentation. Um, and each individual thing, a piece of text, an image, whatever it is, is an element on the slide. So this looks pretty bland. So to make this look a little nicer, we can go to design, where it gives us a bunch of basic themes we can pick from up here. So if I press this down arrow, it'll give me a lot of options, office options. Um, I could use this. Looks kind of nice. I could pick what else looks cool. I could do this. If I'm doing something a little more flashy, I'm doing kind of a formal presentation. I may pick something a little more simplistic. If it's something on the environment and I want to go with something eco-friendly. Um, you can see they also have design ideas here on the side. So these are ideas it gets based on the text that you actually have. So if I made this new raw, whoa. Logy, chances are it would generate ideas to do with that. Well, right now it's generating based on what I have. So let's say I do this. I had the heart and I have neurology, so it's just going to keep getting the heart. Um, I remove the heart though. Let's go to here. Whoa. Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah, um, so one thing about design ideas is they are images on top of the theme that you're using. So they do change all of your text and your font the same way a theme would change your text and font, but it's as an image on top of everything. So it becomes an element on top of everything else. So it's just a little harder to work with in that, in that sense. As you can see, the title isn't changing anymore along with the theme. Um, so whenever you do pick or you do choose to go with a design idea, might be best to do that after you start from a blank slide and uh, have all the information. So let's say, I don't know, if I start with neurology, right? Now it should give me some actually like interesting ideas for neurology. Here, that's a really cool one. Kind of gives me a biology vibe, right? But then again, if I add a new slide, uh, title and content, it'll be like this. It'll follow the idea to some extent, but it's not its own theme, you know? Slightly different. Uh, but yeah, those are some basically really cool ways to get some cool themes on uh, Google Slide or on uh, PowerPoint. Sorry, Google Slides slightly different. Um, their themes, their default ones are different. Their ideas are different. Um, there's a bunch of really useful uh, sites you can go to. There's Slides Carnival. Um, I think Go Slides is another one uh, where you can find even cooler themes to download and use in your presentations. Um, so as you can see, this slide looks very different to this first one. And I've been kind of messing around with this button up here. And this is how you create new slides for your presentation. If you just press this top plus button, It'll create a default slide, which is just a title and a body paragraph. 
But if you click on this little arrow down here where it says new slide, you can see there's a whole bunch of options. And you might have seen this before I uh, opened it to have a look at what the templates look like. And so each of these is a different layout. You could have just a title slide, title and content, a section header, a title only, um, content with caption, basically meaning like a picture with a caption, two content, so this would be like a title, two sets of content. If you're doing like a comparison between two things, that's pretty useful. Um, you know, so you can have your section header right here. It's not quite a title, but it could be boom. Like if you want to have fancy text or something that kind of sticks or uh, stands out, that's a good way to do it. So yeah, if you just if you don't want to stick with just your generic one title, one piece of content for all of your slides, this is a really cool way to introduce other types of slides, make them look a little different. We call them layouts. Uh, you can even change the layout of the slide you're on right now. If you can see there's layouts uh, tab or button right here. Click on that and you can change this slide's layout to, to content. You can change this side's layout to comparison, to whatever you really want to change it to, right? You can even make it a blank slide. Uh, that's really useful if you want to just have an image as your entire slide. So that's that. Uh, one thing you should keep in mind, this is not Google Sheets. Well, unless you're on Google Sheets, Google Drive and all of their applications automatically save your progress. Microsoft Office does not, so PowerPoint doesn't automatically save your progress. So you're going to have to go to File, Save As, then find a place. I will, for the sake of this, really just save this in my desktop. Uh, file name, I title it Neurology. I could title it whatever I want. Um, example, for example, uh, one, and then just save it. And then from that point onwards, you no longer have to save as. You can just go click this button right here to save. You could go to File, Save, or you could use the shortcut, and this is what I recommend doing just because it's the fastest. Control S will automatically save it to that location that you saved it at with your Save As. If you're on Mac, again, that's Command S, not Control S. But yeah. Hopefully that helps you get started on PowerPoint. Um, I hope to see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.